Amidst the hustle and bustle of the holidays, people often take a look around and realize just how grateful they are for what they have, and they look for ways to pay it forward. Well, here's a Montana story that covers many miles across our state and beyond our borders, delivering with that very intention. We've got the drought. On top of that, we have the grasshoppers, the wildfires and wild land fires that we've had up here in this area. If you're in agriculture this year, you're hurting. A lot of Montana ranchers are struggling. Left with two options, sell your herd and sell off your income potential, or take a trip to the bank, buy hay, and pay top dollar to have it shipped in. The, the cattle wouldn't even come close to, to even breaking even. I mean, they'd be in the hole on that hay for, uh, for some years to come. While Montana ag is struggling, motivated Montana truck drivers like Jackson Allen out of Lewistown are in the green. So when a friend called him up to ask if he could pick up some hay 800 miles away. Serving lunch. I'm like, doing what? Well, I'm serving lunch at the school. And that's when it just really sunk in that here he is on the phone. You know, you can just imagine the picture in your mind of him with the phone on his ear and he's serving lunch to these kids trying to get a hay deal together and, and getting all this done. And that's that's when it really settled on me. As Alan hung up the phone, he decided he'd figure out a way to get the hay and do it for free. Cody and I have an interesting and uh, rivalrous, is that a word? Colorful. Colorful. So he pulled in a friend, loaded up his boys, and hit the road. We're eating pizza. The last two years have been so much division, uh, so much strife, uh, hatred, angst. And the best way that I've found in my life to settle those things out of my way is to, to serve, to do service. All the way to Canistota, South Dakota. Load up, quick turnaround, and headed back. One. Plant. What is Hans doing over there? He's what you didn't know is at the same time, two more trucks were headed from Aberdeen, Idaho. Alan had called in another friend, Heavy D Sparks, also known as the Diesel Brothers. Here, so we're gonna do some the two teams the met up at Alan's yeah. ranch and formed a committed convoy. Heavy, and that was all him. He's like, I wanna buy this hay, I wanna set this rancher up. And, and let's do this. But he knew we were coming, but he was totally surprised at the end when, when Heavy D slid that check across. This right here is gonna cover the cost of the hay from South Dakota and all the other stuff we donated. So we got you covered. You rarely get to be a part of something like that where you, you get to see somebody receive such a great blessing in their life. Right, right there in person. You can't even begin to describe the feeling. I mean, there's a lot of gratitude, but even that does not go nearly far enough to explain how it was. That blessing already growing as Buck and Joanne picked up a half dozen cows from another neighbor. But he didn't have hay either, so I told him, just bring them. I will winter them, I will calve them, and then I'll bring them back. Just trying to pay back some of the goodness that was brought to us. It is definitely returning and, and coming full circle and, and doing much more good out there. There's still good out there. Just got to find it. And sometimes it comes when you're not looking. Right? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. <laughs> when you sacrifice something for somebody, you grow in love and compassion for that person. And we need more of that unity and we need more of that, that help and that love. As, you know, as cliche as that sounds, that's the message. Wherever you are, be there and help where you're at. Across Montana. There's so many opportunities out there to help and so many people that can help. Paying it forward. We gotta do it. You just gotta, you just gotta bear up your shoulders and you gotta, you gotta do it. Janelle Slade, MTN News. And both Jackson Allen and Heavy D Sparks have YouTube pages where you can check out these stories from start to finish. There are links to both of those stories at ktvq.com.